Here at the Scripps Institution of Oceanography in San Diego, researcher Anella Choi has been spending a lot of time with the ocean. Specifically, she's been navigating a deep diving robot and using it to scoop out water from Monterey Bay. We wanted to look at the vertical extent of microplastic pollution and how that pollution might be getting into different species of animals that encompass the marine food at these different depths. Microplastics are tiny, less than five millimeters in length, and they include things like the beads in face wash. And when Choi looked deep below the ocean surface, she found lots of them. We found microplastic everywhere we looked, um, from shallow depths in the water column down to the deepest depths, and we also found them in the bodies and guts of animals, every animal specimen that we looked at. Choi says her study is one of the first to systematically look at how much plastic is concentrated at different levels into the deep sea. So we've done some studies that have shown that over 90% of the plastic in the ocean is smaller than a dime. And researcher Jenny Brandon of San Diego's Birch Aquarium has been looking at the impacts these microplastics can have on ocean animals below the surface. She's been collecting jars and jars of this stuff. So when I find plastic that's this size, it's actually probably going to be capable of entering any level of the food chain because something really small could eat it, but then something at the total other end of the food chain might eat thousands of fish that have also eaten this. Some animals fill up on it and die of starvation because it's not real food, she says. And microplastic also has chemicals that are toxic, not just to sea animals, but others down the food chain. It can affect human health because we eat seafood um, and the vast majority of the world gets their protein from seafood. And so the more fish that are eating plastic, the more humans are eating plastic. Um, Right now, what it looks like is that it's not enough to really affect us. We're so much bigger than fish that the dose response of how much plastic we're eating isn't really affecting us, but it could certainly get to a level that it does start to affect us. And because of that, Scripps researcher Anella Choi says she thinks there needs to be more studies on the impacts these plastics can have on different types of animals. Shalina Chatlani, KPBS News.